Hello everyone, welcome back to Groove. Uh, last mission we destroyed this, I forgot that they could capture it back, not a big deal, but uh, right now our struggle is just stopping them from recapturing it. If we can stop them from recapturing it, they can't build units. So I might be push pushing a little bit hard for that aim, but I think it's going to be worthwhile in the end. And I don't know what to do for the best right now. I think I'm going to leave people here as distractions and whatnot. See what goes on. Bring you, bring you back so you can reheal. And you do one over trebuchet. I want to bring another swordsman in. Why not? Just keep reinforcements coming thick and heavy. To be fair, if I can capture that myself, that would be a big boon. And what's what these on 41%? That will kill him. Yeah, let's just leave it as it is for now. Let's see what let's see what how it plays out. On turn 14. So they're not choosing to recapture. So they're not getting reinforcements. This is what we need. Honestly, if I can recapture that myself, it will end the game. Because I can immediately start building in units on it. Right in their home. Right where they live. He's very clever in avoiding the trebuchet's range of fire by getting under both of them. If I attack, no. Uh, if I attack him, no. I think if I attack him, yeah. If I attack him, my troops will be able to take the the barracks, which would be very helpful. If we can just keep it alive for a couple of turns, get some troops in right at the source, and it also means they have to attack it. They can't just take a turn to capture it then. Puts me a massive advantage. Massive advantage. So you reinforce there, why not? You keep on the road, keep on the road. And then start bringing our. mixing our trebuchets up so they can't avoid both of them. Bring you back, why not? Uh, really, I'm not too fussed about him. He can wreak all the havoc he wants because. There's not much havoc to wreak anymore. They've got one archer, one ent, and him. And that's all they can really do. So can that attack back? It can. Uh, just bring my troops in, really. There's no frills. No frills day to day. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to attack you because that's going to use you up. So I'm going to put you there so that end can't strike at our main dude. And really, next turn, hopefully if we get 900 gold, I think we should get 900 gold next turn. Just whack a trebuchet in here. <laughs> right at the heart of their base. That's not ideal, but he's still alive. And he's attacking the Cherry Stone, so that's... I don't know, you weren't that much of a tactical advantage for us, so I'll take it. It's just wasting his turn, mainly. So now we can put a Trebuchet in straight away, right here. And he can hit that pretty happily. You come and soften them up. So I'm taking less damage from him now. I think it's just making sure I don't get too push heavy here. They've got some strong units on the field and I don't really have a position to take them because stretch too far. Uh, you finish taking that and he can capture it, the other one. And this is just more places to heal now, mainly. Do I want to put a cherry stone down? Do I want to attack him? Move you there. Let's heal you up here. 
one. Only 90 to reinforce you. That's pretty good. Why did he not go up any more than that? He should have gone up a lot more than that. Interesting. Maybe there's a quirk to how they reinforce. Uh, powerful long range. Critical hit at max rate. Oh, that's interesting. Don't know that. I should have actually checked that out. Doesn't say anything about its reinforcement. Oh, available gold. That's why. I couldn't reinforce him fully because I didn't have the gold to. Uh, put you there. You can reinforce next turn. Uh, what do you want you to hit? Might as well just swing you out over there. Keep the end busy for another turn. I'm going to lose here, but... Cancel you. Put down an outer shield. Keep everyone nice and protected. And that's pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with that. Move you further in. Let's get you up here. End turn. Sweet. Interesting decision, but it makes sense. Take care of the ones that are on full health. Keep us weak. Oh, he's near death. Charge. One percent damage. Is it worth it? Uh, you. What can you do? Twenty-seven percent damage. That's still shit. Ninety percent damage. Eight. Forty-eight damage. Uh. Yeah, I might as well do forty-eight damage to him. It's it's a target after all. Oh, it's a nice little castle. That I like it. Living in the trees. Uh, bring you down and reinforce. Maybe. You take you out. Keep him in the fray and just reinforce him still, I think. Because if as long as we keep him up here and happy, he acts as quite a big... Oh, I forget they don't charge after they attack. Uh, yeah. Can he move there? I think he can. If he was out of the way, he could. So, you know, soften that up a little bit. Sacrificing some puppers, but I'll take that loss. I don't want to, but I'll take it. I'm happy they run away. They don't actually die. And then you, you can get there, reinforce. And next turn, you should be able to destroy that, really. If if we keep the others at bay. 1% damage, why not? Let's do it. 1% is still damage. It's nice of us to wait for him to build his horse before we hit him with the trebuchet. We're in the end game now, and it's going well. Uh, nine. Okay, that doesn't kill him back, so it just keeps more troops in the field, which is what we want. Like, distraction's the name of the game now. Keep him distracted long enough for us to take that, and we're okay. As much as I like that horse, it's really great on me that I have to watch that cutscene every time we fight. I suppose I could skip these. I always forget I can skip them. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I can't build because there's nothing blocking me. I've got no available gold. So, yeah, just bring in the distractions. Play the distraction game. Turn 17. Nature's cry. I mean, that's a bit of a waste of a move, really. Oh, what did he do? He just popped there and did nothing. That's an interesting turn of events. I was looking at my recording screen. I wasn't actually paying attention to that. I'll have to see what happened that when I uh, edit this video. <laughs> But it doesn't matter what he did because it's ending this bloody turn. Right here, right now, your stronghold's destroyed. I've burnt your trees.
you peaceful forest dwellers. I've just invaded your lands and burnt your trees. Are we the bad guys? A tough battle, but at least it's at an end. You are strong, Commander, but this forest is my home. I will bring its might down upon you. Oh, she's pretty. Wait, wait, wait. Cool your jets, will you? My jets? No, I'm glad you're here. These trespassers have... Have what? Wandered into a forest? These trespassers are refugees from Cherry Stone. Well, at least someone's listening to us. No, no. Sedge was attacked by these people. Sedge wasn't attacked. He started the fight. One of my scouts saw the whole thing. And Greenfinger, these aren't any refugees. If I'm not mistaken, we're in presence of a queen. Your Queen Mercia. Yeah. I am, and it's true, we're only here on the way to Heaven Song. Sedge, what do you have to say about this? He he speaks of a lisp, clearly he's a bad guy. Everyone who does that's a bad guy. Especially when you slimy, sneaky, shifty little Enough Nuru. Sedge. When her agent guests have left, you and I will be having words. She's gonna call him a shit. A slimy, sneaky little shit. And it would be accurate. When our guests have left, you and I will be having words. You fucking shite. Wait for me in the flooded forest. Go. But Sedge is now. My most sincere apologies for the war we started. Oopsie, my bad. Didn't mean to start a war. But you know, you got a few good licks in yourself, you burnt down my tree. I hope you can forgive me, my people, for the trials of which we assailed you. And the fact that you burned down our tree. Forgive us for, for the burning of our tree. You came to us at a time of need, and you were attacked. Please forgive me. We we accept your apology? Thank you. Thank you. He's got a nice voice. Does this mean you'll help us? That you'll get us through the gloom woods? <laughs> Cherrystone is overrun by the Falheim Lords. It won't be long before gloom woods are too... Of course, you may pass through the forest. And as for the hordes, my warriors and I will do our best to hold them here at the border. Know that you would leave behind an ally. And though I must stay here to defend the forest, I hope that Nuru, our best hunter, will be able to assist you on your... Yeah. Consider it done! <laughs> Aw, she's lovely. Look at her smiling. Mercy, old man, dog, I'm coming along for the ride. So we've got queen, old man, dog, and forest lady. What a team. Three mocking stars. I'm the fucking best. It still confuses me that it says defeat right underneath the picture of us. That's very off-putting. I was like, I didn't die. I won the fight. Hey, look at that medal. Look at that medal and splendor. Splendor in its glory. Ah, two to one ratio on the units. I'm pretty happy with that. It's going to send more details. No, that's cool. I'm happy with that. Hey. So we're heading east. Yeah. That's right. We have to cross the Lost Leagues to get to Heaven Song. The Lost Leagues sound sort of mystical. They're more dangerous than mystical. Perhaps a little bit of both. They're both mystical and dangerous. Dangerous and mystical, you might say. So yes, you're right. By the way, this is Emmerich, my royal advisor. Not old man, huh? Gotcha. Woof. Yeah, I'm just going to keep calling you dog. Good on you. She's a doggo. Look at him. Look at him. Give him a little stroke. Look at his little, oh, look at his little tail. Oh, doggos. Oh, the Lost Leagues. And is that a side mission? Which one of the, oh, which one of these is side missions? Congratulations. You unlocked law about Greenfinger. Awesome. Wow. So. Oh, no, I didn't mean to. What's going on? We meet again. Mercy's journey is interrupted by an enemy she thought she left behind. Interesting. And these are the sides. So circles, the side missions, squares are the... Making friends. Having met Nuru and Mercy, I decided to hit each other's metal. Okay. Unhappy with Sedge's deception, Greenfinger confronts the wayward commander. Okay, we can play as Greenfinger. That might be something a little bit different. Uh... I would say it's up to you in the comments to decide which we do next and I'd wait but unfortunately I've got to pre-prepare some videos I'm going away for a week and then I've got a house move coming in so it's gonna be a very hectic time so I'm really trying to pre-prepare videos at the moment so unfortunately I won't be able to leave that up to you I do need to get another video this one out I apologize for that I would love to leave that decision for you but I think next time we are gonna go ahead and do the uh, the main mission just to keep it nice and straightforward thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you do want me to come back and do side missions, do leave a comment. I will get back to them. 
But uh, if you want me to carry on doing the main missions, that's okay. Let me know that too. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>